Welcome. Okay, so this is a little bit of an off-topic, um, but it's you know still a man's site, and um, men do like talking about sort of stuff like this. Women don't really bother with it. Um, you know, questions like why are we here, you know, and all that sort of thing. Men men do t tend to talk like that, um, and like too. Whereas women don't really care as long as they get what they want, I guess. But anyway, this um, it's about um, the world and w what's going to happen. Like at the moment. You know, I've noticed that you know these um, children that are actually born now and they're actually almost allergic to the world right um, they have all the allergies now um, and uh, if they they uh, eat or or even the sunlight some of them but it's it's really very strange that these um, nature I don't think nature has anything to do with it because nature wouldn't make something that would be allergic to where it's going to be born so I can't see nature having anything to do it so it's got to be something else right now whether or not it's because of the internet and you we get to you know go to all over the world we can find out things whether there this is more common now than it used to be or we've just found out about it I think it's just more common but I mean there's a guy at my works where I was working on a building site only 22 years old he was epileptic and he was allergic to four different types of food right so if he ate them he would go into a shock and um, he had one of those EpiPens on him um, so you can you know people can bring him out of the uh, thing but is you know to, to you people out there does this seem more widespread than it used to be and it certainly isn't a natural thing is it something's going on could it be that they were putting I mean, I mean, there's so many people on the planet now that we're having to grow things so quickly that they're using chemicals to grow these things quickly and um, make sure all the bugs are off them and all that. And uh, is it something that uh, is something to do with that? Because um, some of these young kids, they are very young and they have these um, very rare cancers right very rare and the the children which is very sad and these children don't last very long because there's such a rare cancer and it's so aggressive and uh, you know uh, this is this something th that's new really i mean i don't remember it in my day and i don't remember people being so allergic to everything like they are now which is not a very good sign now um all these diseases too that you know Ebola if Ebola got out of there and whatever it could do a lot of damage but um, our population is getting higher and higher and there's always natural ways to to cull a herd if you know what I mean I mean I've seen deer herds that have been too big for the area they're in and they just starve to death slowly and it, the herd looks terrible and it's it's really unhealthy and it's a horrible way for the deer to die right is that what's happening is that what's happening is nature trying to cull us is that what's going on or is it because we're just using so many goddamn different chemicals and it's got into the whole system now I mean I'm talking about it's in the water it's all in the food that you eat and I mean there's a reason why the food that we when we go to the grocery store or something we look at all this food on show and it all looks perfect you notice that it all looks absolutely perfect uh, no blemishes no nothing and that's because of the chemicals they use and everything to get them that way because apparently it's more pleasing for the person to buy to look like that right but is it causing us the problem I mean what do you people think out there uh, you know give us your thoughts on this and um, because we are getting quite overpopulated and maybe it's nature's way of culling the herd I don't know or is it because we are just pumping so much goddamn stuff I mean we've stopped using quite a bit of stuff now but I'm sure there's plenty being used all over the place and of course they put it on the ground it goes in the ground you put it on the ground year after year it's going to seep into the ground and get into the water supply as well so and then gets into the lakes and 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 well anyway what youth guys out there think where are we headed man uh.